Well, huh. hey guys, and welcome back to more Nightmare of Decay. Um, that was actually, I think that was my third attempt. That was significantly easier than the first time. Wow, we actually see the right amount of shells going and everything. Um, so anyway, when we last left off, we were, we'd made it to the bottom of the place. Well, not quite the bottom. Technically, we can go down a lot further. But we're healthed up. We've got one human head, of which we still need to find another one. So before we go all the way down, um, well, actually, I say that. I guess there's another way we can go there. Uh, let's go back through there. Before we go down, let's see if we can fully map this place out. Ah. Nope. Wrong door. God damn it. Now, I'm hoping that whoever made this game is still actually, you know, making more. Because this has been freaking amazing. Right, so that's what we need the bolt cutters for. So this door... Ooh. So we can't do anything with that yet. Game's being very generous with pistol ammo. Which causes me to ask questions. Wow, those dogs really aren't as tough as I thought they might be. Oh! And you can decap attack them too. Sweet. Okay. Another electrical box. So. guess we can't do anything with that. Alright, so we know there's uh, wardrobes. Yeah, bloody wardrobe. I'm guessing that probably has a head in it as well? Question mark? Not really sure. Still, we cleared the area out. So, question is, do we get one key to open all of the wardrobes? Or do we have to find two separate keys? Or is, is there two designated keys? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out together. Unfortunately, we're going to have a long way to go home. Or well, not to go home, but to go back up to the monster that's miles above us. So, down we go. Into the deep dark depths son of a alright looks like yep yeah, we got zombies saw that coming oh they're naked zombies alright there fella looks like you've walked out of the umbrella labs lad you not so much actually to be fair they really do kind of look like slightly higher quality zombies than the uh, very low polygon zombies from PlayStation 1 Resident Evil games. And I do mean slight... They, well, they actually do, to me, to my eyes, look better. You're gone. You're gone too. I just keep a squeeze. See if there's anything hidden below the water. Doesn't look like it though. I've got one door there. Yeah, I'm not buying it, sir. Get up. Come on. There you go. Right. I guess we can go through here. Ooh. Naked zombies. We really are getting a little bit low on the old handgun ammo, but that's fine. We've got plenty of shotgun shells. 
And I'd argue that actually using the shotgun on these guys is way more efficient, to be fair. Ooh! My word. There's a couple of them, isn't there? Ooh! Almost. Had to get in with a double tap. Okay, he was a... He was a toughie. It's alright. Oh, there is stuff under here. Bastards. Alright, whatever. Now, ooh, oh, dude. Crowbar, glowing barrels. Is this Half Life? Don't mind if I do. That was a nice little haul, actually. Uh, crowbar. A metal bar in the shape of a crow's beak. Slow to swing, but it's hard and deals blunt damage, which is effective at crushing bones. Execute power attacks with the crowbar by holding down left mouse. Barrel of acid. Ah. Oh, sick. Alright, that was easier than I thought it would be. Just straight up a barrel of acid. Sure. I mean, doesn't everybody have have a barrel of acid in their basement? If you don't, you're probably doing something wrong. Let's be fair. Yeah, if you think about it, a barrel of acid oof, is um, yeah, quite a useful thing, I suppose. I mean, it could be anyone turning up at your door unannounced, uninvited, throw some acid on them. Why not? Probably gets results, let's be fair. Okay. So what is up here? Oh. Curious. <clears throat> And of course, so before we do anything, we need to go get our um, pliers, or bolt cutters, I guess. I suppose a pair of pliers wouldn't really do us any favours, would it? Not really. No sirree, Bob. Alright, um, yes, here they are. Acid. Whoop. Excellent. Now, before... Let's go check out that room before we do anything. Be nice if it's a room full of supplies. I mean, it may be. You know. But we have just had a nice little loot room where this crowbar came from. So there's that. Curious as well see how much damage the crowbar does compared to the knife. I'm assuming it probably does quite a lot more damage. Where are my bolt cutters? Yeah, they're at the top. Ah, oh, we didn't get like a cool smooth animation. Oh. Hello. Love. Can I have your head please? Ooh. Well, you kind of left me with no choice. She kind of looks like that woman from Silent Hill. I forget her name. She's definitely been busy, though. The one that James speaks to in the graveyard. Even in death, she has a manic smile on her face. You remember that the creature in the hole wanted female heads for its collection. Yes. Use your knife to cut off and take her head. You know, cutting somebody's head off with a knife would actually be quite a challenge. Quite a grisly job as well. Now, considering her body was still warm, probably uh, blood spurting everywhere as well. Which is fun, you know. So... 
we have another female head. Can we actually have a look at our head collection? Insane woman. Right mouse. <laughs> we can use her head. Oh god, don't think about that. Uh, right, so. Do, do, do. Barrel of acid, which we've used. Right, we need to go back. All the way around. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, no time like the present. Let's go get the other chain off. Right, that's not the way we want to go. Uh, yeah. We need to go downstairs, or down the ladder, into the sewer. Yeah, I like the way we can just endlessly sprint if there's no enemies nearby. It's kind of a hell of a tell, really, that there's no uh, gribbly bastards waiting to chew your face off. Right. So, what's through this door? Ooh. Ooh. Gribbliness. Right, well, before we go down to the obvious trap, what else? Oh, unlocked. Ah, is that the other? Right, cool. Shortcut. Gotcha. Ah. Well, I mean. Alright. Climb down the rusty ladder. Does it honestly look like we have a lot of choice? Let me guess, the ladder's going to break. Yep, that was, that was a little bit obvious. And that doesn't sound great. Oh, chainsaw. Really? Oh, you went there. Okay. Hey, that was the dude that was... Chainsaw Psycho. That was the dude that was at our house. Oh man, he's... Ow, he has... Holy f fuck. Oh man. Um... This guy's tough. Uh... I mean, maybe. Is TNT the bastard? Is there anything that we... Jesus. Yeah, this guy's really strong. It was like one hit and our shotgun was doing basically nothing to him. Okay. At least we can indeed skip that. Ooh. Okay, that does like nothing to him. Unless. Oh, I see. Got ya. Alright, he's got like a giant lump on his back. Alright, now we're cooking with gas. Or at least, you know, cooking with something. Really? Thank you. Cooking with something that's resembling gas. It might be worth. Um... We don't have a lot in the Magnum, do we? Uh, I don't know how quick we can, like, make him drop to his knees. Luckily, we can get there pretty quickly. Oh! Okay, I mean, that electrical thing looks kind of straight out of Resident Evil 5. So, oh. So, with that in mind, can we? I 
kind of maybe right there we go he goes down like straight away probably want to use something with a little bit more pop the fuck's a shotgun uh, I mean doesn't use a horrendous amount of damage to but Come on, dude. We're going to enjoy that. You're going to enjoy that. Oh, yeah, that does. There's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Whew. That dude was a spicy mofo. He did have a female head, though. At least he did when he was in our house. Guess not here though. Ooh. Bloody wardrobe key. So question is Is this bloody wardrobe key the only one or are there multiple? I'm going to assume that this is probably the only one. Quite an interesting fight, to be honest. Definitely somebody that's played Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil Five. Apps are freaking lootly. Was it? Were they in Resident Evil Four as well? No, I don't think they were. Just Resident Evil. Yeah, I'm sure they. Maybe Resident Evil Six, but I've literally I played that game once. And I started playing it again. Um, with a friend. And we were basically just like, yeah, nah. <laughs> nah. We did Leon's campaign. And then we went straight to Ada's after Leon. And it's just like, yeah, done. Had enough. Okay. So, what do we have in here? Now this... It's going to be... Ooh! And it sounds like Gabby's back. So we can climb through the large hole. Let's do that. Because, you know, why not, I guess. Alright, this is... Certainly not where we want to be. Hey, it's the cat. Hello again, stranger. I didn't think you'd make it this far. You're tougher than I thought. Or maybe just lucky. Either way, I don't think you'll be able to survive for much longer down here in the dungeons. Some truly monstrous beasts lurk down here. And I'm pretty sure one of them will get you. Good luck, stranger. You'll need it. Thanks, cat. Um, let's go back through the hole, and before we do anything, because I don't know if we would go back to the mansion. Let's see if we can get up to that head. Um, one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my partner came home early from work, so... Right, anyway, uh, large hole. Hmm, we do like large holes. Right, let's go back to the elevator, which is this way. Now... I'm hoping in that bloody wardrobe is the, the other head. Kinda makes sense. As I say, I, I really don't know if we can go back. And I'm sure we probably can. We'll probably have something a little bit later where we can exit, but let us. That was a hard fight. The bust of a kingly man dressed in armor. A golden crown has been placed on his head. Indeed. Uh, so unfortunately that's cut my uh, recording time short. So I was hoping to get this game finished today, but alas, I guess not. Right, so we need to go 
Second floor upstairs. That is not the second floor upstairs, is it? God fucking damn it. Right. Uh, I, well, I mean, we could just go up here, I suppose. This works. I think. Does it work? Probably works. We're going to find out if it works. And then we're going to give our holy friend what he seeks. Now, what is he going to give us? Well, I have absolutely no bloody idea. I'm assuming this is probably missable. I don't know, he might just give us like an actual key item that we need. A filthy toilet. So, in here. So, let's have... It is... Oh. Oh. Hello. Thanks, friend. It's the crazy psycho with a chainsaw that attacked you in the basement. He's peering at you from inside the bloody wardrobe. The maniac smile on his face. He doesn't seem to be hostile at the moment. I <laughs> didn't expect that. So he's the one that took her head. Now this dude, he's the one that's fucking everybody up. So, although we killed him, he's, uh, I guess, not dead. So he's the guy that we saw in our, in our house as well. So, and indeed, I wonder if that's the young woman's the middle-aged woman's head that he had. This game is kind of giving me like the back rooms kind of vibe. And I'm here for it, you know. It definitely uh, works. Alright, mate. Look. One. Two. And three. Excellent! You have brought me three beautiful female heads. Please wait a moment whilst I fetch your reward. Right, aim to please. You know. Is that a mimic? Thank you for the head, stranger. Please enjoy your reward. Oh! Holy water, health drink, health drink. Oh! Thank you! That was actually quite nice. A flask filled with holy water that has been blessed. Uh, filled with water that has been blessed with holy power. Can be thrown to produce a divine explosion that deals massive amounts of damage to the unholy creatures of the nightmare. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Wonder what happens if you say no to that guy. And obviously we've got some fat magnum slugs as well. Alright, cheers, chief. Get out of here. Now, uh, uh, let's just go back. You know, the map in this game is remarkably small. And uh, I was going to say, I don't mind that, to be honest with you. Because um, you kind of get used to it a little bit. I mean, you would if you, you're not me. Because, uh, you know, obviously I've got a touch of the tards. And my memory is as, would to be frank with you, as shit as it comes. So, but you know. We got an achievement for that as well, so I do wonder if that was a, a little Brucey bonus. A little option. You know, a little a little treat, a little bit of spice on top of the curry there. Um, where ah right, actually where we need to go isn't even that far away, which is nice. I'm guessing these holy water bombs are going to be rather glorious now. We're in that awkward phase where <laughs> I don't know what we should save them for. 
Are we gonna encounter some rather horrible things? Ah, we need to go to the hole in the wall. The place downtown. Let's go down. I'm guessing we must be getting pretty close to the end. I'm kind of sort of getting those vibes. Chainsaw guy. You know, say what you want about him, but he seems alright. Pretty sure me and him would be buds. So, Lord's Diary 2. I've uncovered a large man size hole on the wall in the basement. I crawled through the hole and was astonished to discover a massive underground dungeon on the other side. The dungeon may be thousands of years old and I can just imagine the ancient treasures that lay within. I've ordered the servants to cover up the hole with a wardrobe and I've watched them as they worked to make sure none of them got curious and crawled through. No one else knows about the dungeon and I plan to keep it that way. Well. Well. People know about it now. Dead Space reference? Yep. He smashed his own face against the wall. Got to be a Dead Space reference. Zombies? Lots of zombies. Well, I mean two zombies. Two zombies is a reasonable amount of zombies. Aha! Evening. Naked zombie. Ooh! Off with his head. He obviously had too much head. Can one have too much head? Think about it. It's an important question. Need to find a key. So, what do we have here? Really? Nothing? A room with just three barrels? Three non interactive barrels. Alright. I'll uh I'll go with it for now. Nothing too suspicious about that. Oh. More cultists. Oh, <laughs> it's James. Oof. Oh, James got hosed. Oh. So what is that? James just got totally fragged. Ah. Oh. I guess we're going to be having a lot of Silent Hill references. He's been shot to death. Can we not take his crowbar or his pipe? That's a shame. Sell a key. Another Lord's Diary. Mm -hmm. How many days has it been since I discovered this dungeon? I don't remember anymore. Irma asked me about what I've been doing in the basement, but there's no way I'll tell her. I won't tell anybody. This is my secret alone. Something calls me down here, and I won't rest until I find it. Well. Unfortunately, guys, uh, I don't want to, but this has got to be where we uh, call it quits for now. Hopefully, I shall finish this game tomorrow. Or maybe... Nah, I'm not going to have time later. Hopefully I'll finish this game tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping you're enjoying this game, guys. I am having an absolutely wonderful time with this. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.